So we are back some more Miami Heat, my GM here in NBA 2K18, and today it is finally our trade day basically for our players because it was a 60 day window that we went and traded for I believe uh, Derek Favors and it might have been like Patrick Beverly too in that and Malcolm Brogdon in the kind of the same area of 60 days ago. And now today finally we can go trade I believe Derek Favors most likely out of all of them because it's just time for him to go. We need a pick. And he can probably get fetch us a first round pick this season with his value. So right now let's go look at Derek Favors, the Derek Favors experiment here in Miami. It wasn't all that bad actually. It wasn't that bad in here. Just that he doesn't want to stay. He doesn't want to stay in Miami. So we got to get rid of him, get some value out of him right now. So Derek Favors, 80 overall. I believe he traded James Johnson for him. It's a pretty good trade for us because you get more value out of Derek Favors than what James Johnson had originally. But this season he's averaging 11.3 points per game. 6.9 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.1 steals, and 0.9 blocks per game. And his shooting's over 500, obviously from 3.167, and his free throws aren't the greatest as usual. But he's having a solid season overall, though. Like, he's not having that bad of a season for us. Better than last year, so that's pretty good for Derek Favors right now. But right now, since it is time for us to go and get rid of him because we need to get a pick as soon as possible, so he could probably grow a little bit of value over the time being. So now let's go take a look at some teams most likely in the Western Conference that we can trade for their pick because I don't want to trade like a team like the Cavs, Derek Favors. They're still in a spot to beat us out because we're only one game ahead of the Cavs. We're in a playoff position right now. We're third in the Eastern Conference somehow. So we got to keep this going though. See if we can make the playoffs this season even in year one. That'd be crazy to see that because our team isn't all that bad though. Our talent is there. I just want to take a look at our talent first. So, right now, point guard, since Jordan Clarkson is injured, we have Patrick Beverly starting at 79 overall. Malcolm Brogdon at shooting guard, he's having a heck of a year. And then we have Josh Jackson, or not Josh Jackson, Josh Richardson at small forward. Derek Fear is currently at starting power forward, but then when we trade him away, we get Julius Randle at starter. Then we have Son Whiteside at center, 88 overall, having a solid year this season. Then we just acquired Buddy Heal last episode for pretty much nothing at all. So, we got Buddy Heal, plus we got Vince Carter, the guy that the owner wanted originally so we got vince carter he's there that's basically about it but now we'll take a look at some of the players that probably move up if we get rid of uh what is it Derek favors so since we got rid of kelly olenic in that trade for buddy healed that means bam finally has some minutes to play and he needs minutes to develop right now because he's 20 years old he's got tons of potential to go and have a great career in the nba so i mean you got to go and give him minutes and right now he's finally getting minutes. So Bam's getting minutes. Wayne Ellington on the bench. He's having a heck of a year too. Like he's having a solid year for us when it comes to shooting the basketball though. Let's take a look at him. He's averaging 14 points per game off the bench, which is pretty crazy to see that. He's averaging, four, right now he's averaging 427 for his field goal percentage, 430 from three, and his free throws are decent this season as usual. So Wayne Ellington, a dark horse, maybe like in real life, could maybe go and uh, participate in the three-point contest for right now. Let's go look at the rest of it. So then Buddy Heal, if we get in that trade, Julius Randle will be like, let's just consider Derek Favors out of here right now. So you bring all this down. That means Magruder gets minutes. We don't want Delvadova getting minutes, pretty much. Oh yeah, Delvadova, we gotta get rid of him as well too. Cause he's got about 10 million in salary that we need to shed right now. So Delvadova, he's gonna be on his way out of town. And then we, that means that Magruder be getting minutes. We'll just pretend that Derek Favors isn't there anymore. So we'd have Julius Randle, probably put him at like 30 minutes per game. And then we'll give Bam some more minutes. We'll give Magruder some more minutes. But you gotta consider Clarkson, he's out right now. He's gonna have some major minutes when he comes back. So we gotta think of what kind of minutes Clarkson can get once he comes back in, I believe, like two weeks. Because I think he has like an MCL, or not MCL, right knee tendonitis. One of two weeks. So that means we could probably give Malcolm Brogdon more minutes. He's having a heck of a year. Beverly, he's just going to stick at point guard for now. He's a good point guard right now for us. And the rest, like, I think our team is pretty good, though, to maybe have a dark horse uh, playoffs, a good, maybe dark horse playoffs, like have a decent playoffs this season for right now. So we'll just go and just have the CP rebuild. We'll rebuild everything after we make the trades. But right now, take a look at the standings once again and see what team you should find for their pick. So going into the West, 
We have teams like the Grizzlies. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. If we get their pick, that'd be pretty good for us because it says they're rebuilding. So they most likely want to shed some of this players, uh, get rid of some of these players. Like maybe if they get rid of Marcusall, that'd be great for us because then if we get their pick, it's going to be even worse. And then Mike Conley, I believe he could be on the trade block. Oh, yeah, I should go to the trade block, like the team intel. That's what we should do. I haven't done that in a very, very, very long time. Let's see this. Front office. Here it is, scouting. So Team Intel, right now for hours, they think we're in rebuilding mode when we're really kind of a dark horse. Uh, we'll just change the status to... Uh, we're not buying, but we're selling. We're not contending though either. Uh, we'll probably just leave this at rebuilding for now. Yeah, we'll just leave it for now. We're not really... We're not really too sure of what our identity is as a team right now, but looking at our team, it is solid looking compared to most teams in the NBA, though. Like, we have depth down the middle that will help us in the stretch of games in the playoffs, so that's good to see that. For expiring contracts, we have Malcolm Brogdon. Hopefully, we agree some in the playoff in the offseason. I think he has a team option, so we're good with that. Julius Randle, a must resign. I think he is at UFA or an RFA this season, so we got to resign him. Derek Favors, he's out of town. Doesn't really matter with him. And let's go ahead and see if we could find some teams that we could like, maybe acquire their pick. For the Utah Jazz, they have Donovan Mitchell. He's a solid player. I don't really want to tank, like, tinker with any of that right now. It looks to be they're in rebuilding mode, so they'll value prospects and draft picks. Uh, the Kings want to blow up everything right now, so that's, I guess, something. The team's selling. The Knicks are selling. Okay. But, of course... I was told about this, like the storyline, you know how last episode the team, the owner wanted Willie Hernan Gomez because he has good efficiency for the minutes he plays. Well look, he'll never be traded because he's on their trade, like their non-trade list, their untradeable list. So this thing is just kind of, this storyline is a little, I don't like the storyline just to say it right now. But right now, looks like the Knicks are currently selling, they'll dump good veterans for the right deal that includes draft picks or prospects. Rebuilding time in LA. Uh, the Magic, they're dumping players for picks. Seller's market, okay, so they want draft picks and prospects. The Nets are selling, and the Nuggets aren't selling. Okay, the Pacers, they want prospects of draft picks. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, the Pelicans are selling, okay. Maybe, what, what are the Pelicans pick looks like? What do they look like right now? Are they good? I think they might be good this season. I don't see how they wouldn't be good. Wait, they're not even really in a playoff position. But if we give them Derek Favors, though, let's be honest, they'll probably do better than they are right now. But they're having, they're like, they have no guards at all. They have Rondo. They have Tony Allen for defensive, I guess. But they have Drew Holiday. Their team is not good besides Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Their team is trash. So maybe we could see if we could maybe, ah, uh, if they get their pick, it'd be kind of, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what their pick is, actually, in the trade block. But some other teams you can probably pick up their pick are maybe the Dallas Mavericks. The Trailblazers maybe even too. And they're selling. So if they're selling, they probably want a power forward that help them out with Noah Vonley being there right now. Yeah, I think that'd make their team competitive if we give them Derek Favors. So I don't know. That's kind of iffy right there. And either teams, maybe even the East if they're low down enough. We have the Charlotte Hornets. They're selling. Their team is somehow bad this season. I don't get it. They'll probably rebound eventually. The Pistons, they have Blake Griffin right now. Their team is selling, so, okay. Langston Galloway, the Magic, they're selling. Nets, they would need, yeah, they'd be a huge replacement, like a huge improvement if they get uh, Derek Favors over Quincy AC. Let's see if the Nets, we can get acquire their pick from the Cavs. But we don't want to give the Cavs, though, anything. That's the thing. Oh, uh, it's kind of tough. So should we go in value? Because right now they have... Who's even at center for them? They have no centers, really. Their team is kind of stacked, I guess. But we'll just leave it right now for what it is. Any teams that are kind of low down that won't probably rebound. The Wizards maybe even, too. The Wizards, if we give them Derek Favors, their team would probably be more complete. Um, I don't even know. We'll see. We'll just go look for some, some of these players pick. Let's go look at some of these uh, teams' picks and see what kind of happens because I don't know what trades we'll have to make to in order to get rid of Derek Favors for a decent pick in this year's draft. Hornets pick, we cannot find an offer for it. Utah Jazz is protected. The Kings, their pick, can't even trade it. 
The Knicks, their pick, they don't want to give up anything. The Lakers, most likely, that's their second round pick. Uh, the 2018 Magic. Yeah, they don't want to give up top th these uh, unprotected ones, it's the thing. Which is understandable, I guess, but... Uh, let's see, the Nuggets. Okay, the Nuggets would give up, if we give them Patrick Beverly, they'd like it. But the Nuggets are competitive, though, that's the thing. The Indiana Pacers, they want to get rid of their pick, but they want Malcolm Brogdon. Josh Richardson, they want Brogdon pretty much every deal, which kind of sucks, but I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see, what is it? where are the Pacers at anyway? Are they decent? They might be, I'm pretty sure they're decent. Pacers, yeah, they're 1919, so they're only two games ahead of us, or behind us. So yeah, that's not a good idea if we give them any, any players at all. Just gonna help them out. Um, cause this year, even though I don't really want to win the title, I still want to go a little bit farther in the playoffs that we're then right now. So, yeah, I just don't really give up too many things. But maybe if the Cavs are desperate enough, cause let's be honest, the Cavs are gonna make the finals and probably beat us anyway without Der without even Derek Favors. So, we throw up Derek Favors on the trade market. We'll see what he can get for him for right now. I doubt we'll get many picks, but we'll just see. So, first one is Robert Covington. Wizards would give up their top five pick or uh, top five protected pick and Ian Mahinami. This is a trade that I could take. Mahinami, his salary does suck, but our team could take on some salary. You could dump it eventually too. So yeah, we'll just leave it right there. Uh, Portland would give up Nurkic and Harkless. Timberwolves would give up their 20, 2021 pick. OKC would give up Andre Roberson. No, he's terrible. Uh, Spurs would give up their 2021 pick. Trevor Ariza from the Rockets. Raptors would give up OG Ananobi and Serge Ibaka for Del Vadova and Derek Favors. That is an interesting trade for us, but I don't want Serge Ibaka. I'd want more OG Ananobi, but I don't want to get Serge Ibaka for that. Pelicans would give up their 2019 pick. Pacers would give up Derek Collison. Nuggets would give up the 2020 pick. And Kenneth Freed. Brooklyn would give up Spencer Dinwiddie. That's not that bad, actually, but we don't need another guard. We have way too many guards. Uh, Dallas give up, give up their 2020 pick. Uh, Magic, Jonathan Simmons, Knicks, Courtney Lee, Sacramento, Zach Randolph, uh, Joe Johnson from the Utah Jazz, Charlotte Hornets to give up Dwight Howard, but I don't want Dwight Howard, <laughs> uh, Atlanta Hawks, Dwayne Dedman, Memphis Grizzlies get Brandon Wright, Boston Celtics, Marcus Morris, Nikola Miritich from the Bulls, uh, anything else? No, that's basically about it. So we had the Wizards pick there that we could pick up, that's not that bad of a pick. Derek Favors, come on. Wait, that'd be funny if we trade him and then he gets uh, injured. That'd be kind of funny, but uh, let's see. Any possible trades we can just propose, actually. That'd be good for us. So if any team I'd want their trade, their pick from would be most likely, I'd say, the Grizzlies. Because the Grizzlies, I could see him rebuilding, maybe selling off something. So that could be a good idea to get their pick. But another team that could we maybe pick up is... The Mavericks, their team has just dropped dead terrible. So we can see what the Mavericks would give up for their pick. If we can get rid of uh, a couple players that we don't really need for their pick, that'd be solid right now for us. Let's go to the Mavs and see if they still have their pick. I think they do. And they do. So the Mavericks pick is worth a little pretty penny, but we'll go and throw in Derek Favors. That gets a little bit of value done right there. And then we'll throw in a huge prize, Matthew Delvadova. Huge stud for them. I'm just kidding, that's kind of sucked for them, but let's see if we could finesse them out of their pick. Okay, so you have Derek Favors, Beverly, Collinsworth, the pick, and Dwight Powell. That doesn't work at all either, so I don't know if we'll be able to get this pick exactly from the Mavericks, unless we do the top three thing, but uh, I don't know if the like Mavericks, they could end up, uh, I don't know, if they win the lottery... Then that'd be horrible for us, though. Like, we'd just lose the pick right there. We would get their pick next season, but it's still... Like, we gotta get a top pick this season, and we need to do it now, though, before the owner gets pissed off. So, you gotta do in desperate times. It calls for desperate measures. So, what can we get rid of? I don't want to get rid of Josh Richardson, though. He's got too much potential. Bam, don't want to get rid of him. Magruder, I might have to get rid of just for now, because... It's just gonna have to work out that way. So, hopefully... Like, our team isn't destined to win this season for the title, so... It's not like it really matters this season anyway. I just want to be a little bit competitive to make it a little bit fun. But 15 players, yada, yada, yada. Give me McRoberts. There we go. So 
Magruder, Beverly, Favors for the pick, Collinsworth, Powell, and Josh McRoberts. Will this trade go through? And they say they don't want to get rid of their pick because it's too valuable to them. So anything else we could throw in to make this trade go through? If we had picks, it'd work out amazing for us right now. But of course, we have no picks at all. Like right out, like nothing at all right now for us. So that is not good for us right now. But Delvadova, no value for him. I'm gonna have to see if we can get some separate trades for Delvadova right now just to see if that'll help out. So for Delvadova, we get Jerry Bayless, Demetrius Jackson, Mahinami. Uh, anything, any picks? That'd be solid if we can get some picks because we need picks right now. Second round pick, second round pick, Shump, uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, that isn't that bad, but then we can, then again, we cannot trade the player after we acquired him because it's stupid 60 day thing, this pisses me off, like can we just get seconds here, like second round picks would even help out a little bit at least, I'll just propose a trade, wait so I have a trade right here, you have Derek Jones Jr. to the box for the first round pick and Marshall Plumley. Why would they give up their first round pick for a guy like Derek Jones Jr. really? He isn't all that great either. We don't really need him at all right now. Yeah, he's got decent potential, but right now, we don't need him at all. We need picks desperately right now, so let's just do this trade anyway. So we have Derek Jones Jr. for Milwaukee's first round pick and Plumlee. I'll do that trade any day of the week. So now we have finally have a first round pick, but we can use it to our advantage by acquiring... Let's see. It can help us do that trade with uh, Derek Favors. Because we finally have a pick, but we, oh, we can't trade those picks though. Damn it. Oh, this is so annoying. But at least we finally have a pick though this season from the box. That's that's good with me. So we'll go and acquire. Well, not acquire, but go and try and trade off Derek Favors though for a pick. Maybe it's easier. So we had the Wizards top five pick. And me and Mahinami. Anything else here? A 2019 pick from New Orleans Pelicans, but for some reason that stupid thing where we cannot trade consecutive first round picks, it doesn't allow me to do that at all. Like, it can't do anything. This puts stupid, unnecessary restrictions on this game mode, which make things 10 times more tougher than they should be. So the Bucks are top of the East right now, but at least we finally get a pick this season, so even if it's not in the lottery, at least it's a pick nonetheless for this season, so that's always good, I guess. But right now, we'll take a look at contract extension so right now both Randall and Favors want to test for agency but I could see if I can convince yeah I could use my grass not greener pitch for Julius Randall so we'll go and so let's see if we can resign Julius Randall under the cap so three years 81 million so he wants a lot of money so that what is that three years 81 million uh, that is like 20 I think it's around 20 40 60 it's like 25 mil isn't it that's more than 25 million. That's like 27 million. So he wants a lot of money. Okay, so since Julius Randle is one of those guys where we want him in the system for a couple more years because he's one of those players I want to keep on the team. 75 million for three years. We'll just go and offer that right now and see if he takes it. So it seems like a fair offer. So I guess maybe, yeah, we resign him. So we got Julius Randle back. For 25 million, <laughs> it's kind of a sucky deal, but it's gonna have to be the way it is because we want him on this team. So Julius Randle, he's back at the team now, and it is better overall for us. So now he's making about 23 million. It doesn't really matter for us because someone or we would have given him the money anyway. So it's kind of just good to resign now, just for being being kind of safe with our players. So now we have Randle back. Now it's time to go and trade Derek Favors though. We need him out of here ASAP. One team that has an underrated pick that we could maybe pick up for what the value that Derek Favors has is New Orleans Pelicans pick this season. Right now they're 18 and 19. They have a weak backcourt right now with Rondo, uh, Tony Allen right now. The only two players they have on this team is really Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. If one of those two gets injured, which could happen because of a huge amount of usage this season, then they're pretty much screwed at this point. So if you were to just give them Derek Favors for their pick, I think that might work out for us. So let's go bring up a trade, go find the Pelicans pick, plus they're willing to sell their pick too, which is perfect. So, unprotected first round pick. They would want Brogdon, but I get rid of Brogdon and bring in Derek Favors, get rid of Darius Miller, and bring in, what's his face? Um, where is he? Solomon Hill. 
because we do need a small forward he brings in a little bit of depth and yeah it just worked out better for us so Derek Favors he, uh, he brings a salary too so that just works out better but Derek Favors and their pick for Solomon Hill oh so Derek Favors for the pick and Solomon Hill will this work out and this trade they're not interesting they want Rodney Magruder Rodney Magruder for Tony Allen I don't want to give up Magruder for Tony Allen even though Tony Allen's a good defensive player but we'll bring in another player and his name is Udonis Haslam. Would you want Haslam in this pick? Actually, wait, let's see if we can do something here. So Magruder, how's his shooting like? Is he a good shooter? He is kind of an alright player. He's decent. He's got potential, though. That's the problem. Let's see if we bring in not Matthew Delvadova. Um, let's see. Let's try this again. See what their counteroffer is. So Magruder for Tony Allen. Do they have any talent here on this team that is better than what we have with Magruder. That would be Etwan Moore, but he is making 8 million. Okay, so salary dump here, Delvadova, he's out of here. I didn't want him in our system anyway. Magruder, kind of an underrated player, but I just need to get rid of him because that's the only way we get the pick. Derek Favor is main source for the pick. And we get Etwan Moore back. Salmon Hill, crappy contract, but at least we get a decent player in Etwan Moore. Is he getting a raise next season? He better not be. And he's not cool, so he's got a good contract as well too. And Jameer Nelson just on there just for the books for the salary this season. So this trade, I think it's good enough. It's the only way we can get a pick. We'll go through and this trade has been made. So we acquired a brand new, uh, we got a pick finally this season from this trade. We'll take a look at coaching and fix things up. So we have Richardson now at small forward, Randall back at power forward once again. We have Buddy Heal, Wade Ellington on the bench still. It's crucial that we kept Wade Ellington though. I'm so happy we did that. We have Bam, we have Etwan Moore now as a source for scoring. So we have a solid little team here. We can maybe make a small playoff run if we keep the same players in the system. Guards, we have Beverly and Clarkson, Jameer Nelson. And then we have at shooting guards, we have Brogdon uh, healed and Ellington and each one more too so it's kind of stacked I guess then at small forward we have Josh Richardson and we have Solomon Hill not that bad I guess Solomon Hill is decent he's not the greatest but he's not the worst plus we have Vince Carter there too I forgot about Vince so Vince can always step in if you really need him to then at power we have uh, Randall and Haslam but then we also have Whiteside and Bam Adebayo so should we actually be looking for a power forward we might actually have to because it doesn't seem right we only have that many people. We could get Luis Scola, a veteran for the playoffs, if we make the playoffs. You know, Terrence Jones is pretty underrated, actually. Let's see if we can negotiate a contract with Terrence Jones. We can't right now. So we'll re release a real player off the team. Um, Dallas Haslam. We don't need him. Unless we'll have to keep him. Jason Terry. We really don't need Jason Terry. We'll just release him. Because he's only making, what is it, two, 2 million for the rest of the season. So yeah, we don't need him. Uh, we'll go get rid of him. Bring in Terrence Jones. So how much could we offer Terrence Jones as backup at uh, power? Negotiations. So one year, 3.5 mil. We can offer one year, 2.7. That should be enough. There you go. So now we got Terrence Jones there. Solid backup player, I think he'd work out pretty well for us. So now, we should have a team. So as of right now, our team is, we'll go to coaching. And we have Beverly, we have Brogdon, we have Richardson, we have Randall, Whiteside, Buddy Heal at 6 man, Wayne Ellington, Bam Adebayo, Etwan Moore, Terrence Jones there, we have Vince Carter, and we still have Clarkson there injured as well. So we have a lot of talent here on this team that I think we could probably do well this season. But right now, we got to just really hope that this team can, comes back up. Because it's 51% right now, and that's not that good. So we got to really hope it comes back eventually. But we'll go and sim up to probably... Where is this? What game should we play? Maybe the Bucks. Yeah, we'll sim up to the Bucks game. And see how our team's doing. So we just lost to the Knicks. First game against the Jazz, new lineup, we won that one. It doesn't really matter because the team that has our pick, like, uh, we don't even have our own picks, so it kind of sucks. Sa Son White said wants to talk, how you doing? I'm alright, music too loud, turn down the music. Uh, Mr. Sanderson, oh no, the owner. So that's the thing, I wasn't sure if I want to make up the guy the first, but then he gave me a reason to doubt him. Uh, you know, you never know, yada yada yada. 
it's working out like way better than I, th I thought it would. He's a stand-up dude. Not disagreeing with you here, but just out of curiosity, what makes you say that? This is small things, you know, after games, if you get a good game, he gets a nice text. If he struggles a bit, he gets encouragement. Um, okay. So Sun Whiteside likes him, I guess. He loved it here. He's got ownership on his back. Okay. So Sun Whiteside likes the new owner, which... The owner isn't bad, but I hate his son, though. We lost the Raps. We won against the Pacers. And now, so we're coming off for 23-18. and 18. We're having a solid year, actually, with the team we have. Uh, bam, we're, we don't want Luke and Bamute. No. No, no, no. Okay, so you've simmed up to the Bucks game. Our team's looking solid. We'll take a look at the Pelicans right now. I don't know how good the Pelicans are playing, but all I know is we're playing pretty well right now for the lineup we have. So you have Beverly, you have Brogdon, Richardson, Randall, Whiteside, Buddy Heald, Wayne Ellington, Bam, and Clarkson's coming back as well. So a solid team right now. I'm liking this team, how it's looking. So we'll take a look at the Pelicans. How are those Pellies doing? And the Pelicans... Are still 19 and 22, so they've lost. They haven't won yet with their new lineup with Derek Favors at six man. They have Delva Dova, they have Tony Allen. Like their team is not that good though. Magruder's starting, but I don't know. Their team isn't that great. I guess they won one actually. Yeah, they won one, but no. Or have they even played? I don't think they played yet. But whatever though. Hopefully they keep on. They keep on losing. That'd be solid for me, especially because we have their pick. But right now. Let's see how this goes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have the Jazz ahead of them, the Clippers, the Timberwolves, and the Grizzlies pretty much. So right now we got a hope, because I'm pretty sure the Pelicans probably will be in the lottery draft, most likely. Hopefully they're like that, if they keep on sucking. But we'll see though. You never really know when it comes to the NBA. Uh, right now, let's go to the power rankings. In the power rankings, in the Bucks fifth, we have us all the way down in twelfth. Then we have the Pelicans all the way down in twenty-first. And what else? GM power rankings. We're second in GM power rankings, so we're having a solid uh, year GM-wise, I guess. For that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it, though. So next episode will be the Bucks game, we're facing off against the Bucks. We got their pick this season, so we have two first-round picks finally this season. Hopefully we can trade him at the draft. Hopefully that stupid Stepien rule does not step in and screw up our trades f to try and get the first overall pick because I could see it probably playing in effect later on if anything happens. So fingers crossed it doesn't happen. But anyway, I guess on the steps are off right here. Make sure to like, subscribe for more uh, Heat My GM, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.